Hello all, JT here. MetaMask has a new feature. You can now use multiple safe card wallets with different seeds with one instance of MetaMask without having to repair each time. Your experience switching between accounts will be easier and faster than ever. Before beginning, always check for the latest software updates for your Lattice under the settings menu. Additionally, go ahead and install MetaMask if you haven't done so. This tutorial will also demonstrate adding several safeguards. Tutorials on setting up the Lattice One, MetaMask, and the safeguards can all be found on our knowledge base at gridplus.io or on our YouTube channel right here. Let's get started. Let's start by simply adding a couple safeguard accounts to our existing MetaMask wallet. You can only connect one Lattice at a time but you can connect several safe cards and any number of wallet addresses you prefer. Today, we'll use two safe cards and the lattice. First off, we'll name the default MetaMask account as Do Not Use. You can name it whatever you want, but this account will never be used for any funds as it is a simple hot wallet. Now, let's connect the lattice and add a couple of addresses. We'll leave these two addresses as their default name, Lattice1 and Lattice2. It's time to connect and add our safe cards. I'll insert the first safe card, unlock with the pin, and add two addresses and label them Safe Card Bob1 and Safe Card Bob2. Note, when adding safe cards to MetaMask, the default name for the master seed address will always show the label Lattice1 in MetaMask, and the subsequent wallets you add will follow numerically. Be sure to rename these accounts if you want a visual way to easily distinguish each safe card address from the main Lattice account. Additionally, if you want, you can give these addresses custom names, which will appear on the screen of your lattice using our tools at gridplus.io. Details are in our knowledge base and on our YouTube channel. Back to the tutorial, let's go ahead and add another safe card address. This one will be called Alice. So now we have the addresses for the Lattice One and Safe Card Bob and Safe Card Alice. Now you can easily switch addresses in MetaMask. To use one of the addresses, simply switch in MetaMask. Let's demonstrate what happens on Uniswap when you try to swap ETH for USDC without having Bob Safecard 1 inserted. Click Swap, Confirm Swap, then Confirm on MetaMask. Notice how nothing pops up on the Lattice screen, and we see the Swap Failed message on our browser. Now, insert the Bob Safe card, unlock the pin, wait for the sync to complete, and then execute the swap again. Now we'll see the transaction details appear on the screen. From here, you can finalize by touching accept or reject on the Lattice One and you are good to go. For more information, please visit us at gridplus.io and find us on Reddit, Discord, and Twitter. On behalf of the GridPlus team, my name is JT. Cheers and big hugs from Kansas City.